Getting our WordPress image sizes right is super important for two reasons. The website images must look good and the images should load fast without impacting our website speed. In this video, we will see all about the images that we use on our website. We will see how WordPress processes our images to standardize the outcome. We will see how we can change the default image sizes as per our requirement. We will learn about the best image sizes that we can use for different sections of the website. Then we will get on to the most important topic, image optimization. Here we will learn about different image formats. We will learn how we can compress the images without losing the quality of our images before and after uploading them to the website. We will check out some best free and paid image optimization plugin options. Finally, we will see how to upload images to WordPress with appropriate image SEO and organize them properly. So let us start. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillwill.com and here we learn easy step-by-step -step WordPress web designing without coding. Image size matters when it comes to WordPress. If you get image sizes wrong, then you could end up with misplaced, blurry or slow loading images that affect the speed of your website and the overall web designing. Luckily for you, WordPress will help you to avoid these problems. So whenever we wish to upload any image to WordPress, we go to the WordPress dashboard and we go to the media library. And here we simply click on add new. Now you will see an area where you can simply drop your file or you can select the file from the folder of your computer. So now we can simply upload the image to this area and the image will get uploaded to WordPress. So whenever we upload an image, WordPress automatically creates four different image sizes. The first one is the thumbnail size, which is 150 by 150 pixels. The second one is the medium size image, which is maximum 300 by 300 pixels. The third type of image it will create is a large size image, which is 1024 by 1024 pixels. And the last type of image it will have is the full size image that we have uploaded on WordPress. WordPress does this so that you don't have to keep resizing images manually and to ensure the best image size is selected for different locations on your website. For example, the image size used in the header of a blog post will be different from the blog post thumbnail image. So in certain situations, we might need to have different sizes from the default image sizes on WordPress. So to have customized image sizes, you can simply go to the dashboard and here you need to check the settings and go to media. So in this section, you will see different image sizes which are set by WordPress as the default sizes. So you can change the default sizes as per your requirement and have customized images on your website. So for example, I would like to have a different image size for the thumbnails and I can simply make it 200 by 200 and simply save the changes. So whenever I will upload an image, now it will create a thumbnail with a size of 200 by 200 pixels. So this is how you can change the default image sizes on WordPress. Now the question arises, what are the best image sizes to ensure fast, high quality images that look good and responsive on desktop, tablet and any mobile device? So here are some recommended best image sizes for WordPress. For a blog post image, the size should be 1200 by 630 pixels. Image of this size will definitely look great on different devices. The next one is the header image 
and the header image or the banner size should be of 1048 by 250 pixels. Next one is the featured image and the featured image can be a landscape or a portrait image. So for a landscape featured image, the size can be 1200 by 900 pixels. Similarly, for the portrait size featured image, the size can be 900 by 1200 pixels. Next comes the WordPress background image and the background image size can be 1920 by 1080 pixels. Another most important type of image is the logo image and there is a lot of confusion about the size of the logo that should be used on WordPress website. So for a logo, the image size should be 200 by 100 pixels and a logo of this size will look appropriate on any type of website. The next type of images on some of the sections are the thumbnail images and for a thumbnail, the size of the image should be 150 by 150 pixels. Apart from these images, if you are running an e-commerce store, you might have the product images on your website. WooCommerce product images come in different sizes. The dimensions depend on the theme that you are using, store user interface, and whether the store uses an image zoom plugin. In general, a minimum WooCommerce image size of 800 by 1000 pixels is recommended for standard products. If you have more complicated and detailed products, a large image size of 2000 pixels and above is recommended so that the customers can zoom in to see the details of the product. Depending on the e-commerce store that you have, you can have different type of images like the catalog image, single product image and the thumbnail image. The next important point that we must consider while uploading an image to WordPress is the size of each image file. If we are uploading an image with a large file size, it will definitely slow down our website and thus it will affect the user experience and can cause visitors to bounce from our website. As a general rule, WordPress image size should be no bigger than 150 kilobytes except for large photos. The images that you are seeing on the screen are looking identical to the human eye, but they have different file size and also the quality of the image are different. So there is no point using a high quality image with a large file size on our website. Many times when we need an image, we go to websites like the pixels and select an image that we find best for our website. But if you notice, you can download the image in different image size. Here you can also create a custom image size and download it as per your requirement. Based on the image size, the file size for the image will be different. This will help you greatly in reducing the load on the server of your website and you can have the optimized image uploaded to your website. If you already have an image having a large file size, you can make use of online tools like the Squoosh app. The Squoosh app is a free app you can use online and you just need to search for squoosh.app. Here you can simply drag the image that you would like to minimize the file size So if you now check this image, the original image is looking like this. Now with the help of this drag button, you can adjust the quality of this image. So if you check the original image file size, it is 1.49 megabytes. So now if I adjust the quality of this image to maybe 80%, You will see that the file size has reduced to 572 KB and if I drag this button to left or right, you will see that there is no visible difference in the original image 
and the processed image. Now if I further decrease the quality of this image to 60%, you'll see that the file size has decreased to 288 kilobytes. And if I drag this button to left or the right side, you will see that there is no visible difference in the image quality. So this is how you can decrease the quality of the image and it will reduce the file size considerably. So I have now adjusted the quality of this image to 40% and we now have the image file size decreased to 211 kilobytes. This is how we can reduce the file size for the image from a big file size of 149 megabytes to anything around 200 kilobytes. And while doing this, we have managed to have the same quality of the image, which is having no visible difference compared to the original image. Now you can simply download this image and use it on your website. If you also wish to make the changes to the image size, you can simply click on the resize button and here you can adjust the dimensions for the image. WordPress image formats. WordPress accepts many different image formats and each format has its advantages and disadvantages for file size to image quality ratio. Using the right image format is important while uploading any image to your website. As a general rule, choose JPEG for photos and PNG for graphics. JPEG, PNG, GIF are the common formats of images used for web designing. In addition to these, WebP is a modern image format that provides superior lossless and lossy compressions for images on the web. WebP lossless images are 26% smaller in size compared to PNGs. WebP lossy images are 25 to 34 percent smaller than comparable JPEG images. From WordPress 5.8 version, WordPress has started supporting WebP as an acceptable and safe image format which loads much faster compared to other file formats. Now let us see image optimization plugins which will ensure your site is quick to load. Number one is the EWWW image optimizer. After installing and setting up, it will automatically optimize any image you upload to your website in the JPEG, PNG, GIF or WebP format. It also comes with a feature which can optimize your entire media library in case if you have a lot of images on your website. One of the advantages of using EWWW Image Optimizer is that the optimization process takes place within your own server instead of connecting to a third-party service. This means the optimization requires less time, but although it has an option for cloud image optimization feature if you wish to use that. Number two is the WP Smush plugin. This plugin is also available both in free and paid version. As other plugins, this plugin also optimizes any image that is uploaded to the website. The plugin also has a bulk optimization option. This bulk optimization is only limited to 50 files at a time with the free version of the plugin. However, you can also optimize your images individually by selecting them from the image library and clicking on Smush option on the attachment details window. Number three is Short Pixel Image Optimizer plugin. After installing and activating the plugin, every JPEG, PNG, GIF or WebP image you upload will be automatically optimized. Short Pixel enables you to choose between lossy and lossless compression methods. It optimizes all the thumbnails created by WordPress. It can achieve a maximum resolution of your images. And best of all, it automatically saves backup of every single image that you upload to the image gallery. With this plugin, you only get 100 image compressions per month. Number four is the Optimus plugin. The free version of this plugin is the best choice if you are looking for a plugin giving maximum optimization at no cost. 
Optimus free version provides optimization for any number of images uploaded to the website which has file size up to 100 kilobytes. The plugin has very simple settings as compared to other same range plugins. The plugin will not only optimize the images that you upload to the image gallery, but it will also optimize the different sized images created by WordPress for these media files. The last plugin is the Imagify plugin. The installation and settings process is pretty simple for this plugin. For the free as well as the pro version, you get three different optimization levels based on your requirement, normal, aggressive, and ultra. Generally, aggressive is a good optimization option where you can keep the file size down without losing the visible quality of the image. If you select ultra compression, there can be blurring, slight loss of color quality, slight pixelation and a minor artifact in the images. You can optimize the images one by one or you can bulk optimize the images with a single click. Also, any image that you upload to the media library will be automatically run through whatever default optimization level you set up. Now let us see some bonus tips for the image optimization and SEO. Staying organized and in control of your images will have a big impact on your site's performance and overall success. For keeping the media files organized, you can make use of plugins like the FileBird. Here you can create different folders and keep all the media files in different folders as per your requirement. The second thing is about the image SEO. And here you must learn about giving the title tags for your images. The title tags can give clues to search engines to help them understand what your image is about. So instead of uploading the image with its default title tag, you must change the title tag to a format which will give the exact description about the image. Also the alt tag, that is the alternative text, which are used with the HTML code to describe the image are important while uploading the image. Alt tags tells the search engines like the Google what your image are about. And if you optimize it correctly, it can help your images show up at the top of Google and increase the traffic on your website. Hope this video guide was useful to you and it will help you manage the images on your WordPress website properly. If you have liked this video, do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.